I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic object and how to write the event handler for that object. So yeah, dynamic objects basically an object that you're not adding to the form before you run the program is going to be created somewhere during the program. So when you, I click on this button, I'm going to create a new dynamic button on this form. Okay. First step to create a dynamic button is you have to declare that you are going to create an object btnu according to the class t button. And then I'm going to say button u is equal to t button dot create and, and in brackets I'm going to say form one. Um, so form one will be the owner of this object. So, like I said, yeah, if the owner is destroyed, the object will also be destroyed. So, if you clear or destroy the form one button, you will also be destroyed. Then, the parent property, you have to set the parent property. That is where the object will be displayed. Um, in this example, the object will be displayed on the form. But if it was on a panel, then you would have said panel one. Okay, then I'm using with, with button new because I don't want to type in button new dot every time. I want to change the property so I'm using with so now I can just say left is equals to 160 top 65 caption to hello I'm new I'm changing the font style of this button to bold and I'm going to create a event for this uh, button as well but I'll come back to this now a little bit later and when I'm done with this button um, I'm going to free it Okay, three will test if the object exists and then destroy it. So when I click on button two, two I'm going to free the object. Okay. Um, if you can also have the option of edit new dot destroy, it will only destroy it, or no, will clear the variable name for you. Okay, so let's just test this program quickly. Okay, if I click on the new button, button one, it should create a new object for me and it should set the parent property to the form so it should put it on the form and it should set all these properties for me as well okay so there's my new button hello i'm new and when i click on the destroy button it's going to free the object again so it's gone okay now we have the button but you can't do anything with this button so you will have to write an event for this button so when you click on it for example that it can do something okay so i'm going to say when i click on my button so it's on click okay, so it's the on click procedure so when i click on the button the, the delphi must call the click me procedure okay the click me procedure is a procedure that you must write on your own okay, the easiest method i think is just copy and paste maybe uh, a procedure from a similar object and then just change the name to whatever you want it to be okay, i already did this so i changed the name to click me and then i said Control shift c it will auto complete the procedure for me. Let me just comment this one out. So if I say control shift C, it will auto complete the procedure for me. Okay, so I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the one that I already coded. This one over here. So now I can say what something in there is something like you clicked on me you click on it so when i call this procedure it's going to do the coding in here and the coding is just a show message you click on me so i'm assigning that procedure the new one i wrote i'm assigning it to the event on click of this button so when someone clicks on this button it's going to call this procedure that i wrote on my own 